a uh, ironic moment to uh, poke fun at the one person on Steam that was, it was on the Steam forums that's just like, why is up and attack the special weapon? That's stupid. It should be something. It should be a separate button. Um, someone's never played a uh, Castlevania game before. Bloodstained, by and large, is meant to be a love letter to Castlevania, and if it didn't do this type of thing with two-button format and everything, it wouldn't be uh, emulating Castlevania correctly. Time be still. Besides, part of the enjoyment of uh, Classicvania is these simple controls. If they weren't simple, then they wouldn't be Castlevania. Hell, even the Metroidvania titles end up having similar. <laughs> end up having simple to understand control schemes with not too many buttons necessary. Four, five, six, seven. Whoop. Seven. Swing. Take care of the army. Swing. Take care of the army. Swing. Perfect. And done. Three lives, almost at HP, but I'm at the clock tower with time stop. I want to see how far I can get with this. Answer, probably not that far. But god damn it, I want to try anyway. Because if I could blitz up the entire tower with fuck. I forgot about the throwing bone! No! No! Oh! It's over. It's over. Kill me. Ruin six ever. Ugh. Wait, what? Why was this destructible? Like, I, I wasn't, I was seeing that correctly, right? That was destructible. Why? There's nothing there! Unless I picked it up that quickly. To which, I don't even know what I picked up. Ow! Good. Seriously, shurikens are essentially better throwing knives. I'll maintain that.
Perfect. Wait for it. Two, three, four, five, six. Two, three. All set. Let's see what's over here. Enter. Holy water. That need holy water. When I have this much platforming prowess. Ow! Oh! My foot! back so I could uh, pick up on holy water. Four, five, six, It's, uh, not death. Essentially. This is gonna suck. Actually, this might not be that bad. might not actually be that bad. Holy crap. Like, it looks like a lot. It looks like utter rush shot. But, again, predictable patterns, and you can destroy the, uh, metadons that, that the boss is throwing. It's actually fair. And of course, I'm just being incompetent. Let's, uh, pretend that d didn't happen. <sighs> the only issue is, I don't know whether I'm gonna be getting enough- this is getting a permanent checkpoint after I, uh, beat her. I hope I will, considering, uh, that happens with Dracula in the first castle. But, let's see. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. I actually missed one of those, so, uh, that was seven. Get over here, Morda. Get up there. One. One of those is time. The one all the way on the far left there is time stop. I don't necessarily need time stop. Like, it's nice to have, but it's not 100% necessary. Good. 
stick up my points. I'm at it. Let's stock up on shark power. Deal with the bees from safe distance. By the way, these uh, apparent short hops I'm doing, I'm essentially hitting jump and then directly afterward hitting movement. This is actually a uh, forgiveness because classic Castlevania doesn't let you do that. At all. In classic Castlevania, you commit the moment you uh, pick a direction. Yeah, no, kill me before I take that dagger. Unacceptable. Second army. Third army. And one more for good measure. Alright! That's what I'm talking about! Unacceptable! Yeah, there's totally something there, isn't there? No? Why is that there, then? Just to make that jump easier? Profound sadness. I... You can't expect me to remember where those special weapons are, can you? I mean, like, in the, uh... In the quote-unquote alternate timeline game that the C Bloodstained Curse of the Moon, they specific uh, the developers specifically marked which torches would give special weapons and which ones wouldn't. But while some might complain that they should be doing the same thing here, I'd argue not necessary, because, again, this is meant to be a fluff mode, this is meant to be a reward type thing. And it's, again, meant to emulate classic Castlevania. And in classic Vania, they didn't do that. Oh. 
good thing I caught myself. Death is pretty much expected here, such that's fine. I do lose a lot of uh, shards for that, but hey. I'm willing to make a sacrifice if it means restoring my health bar. And honestly, my health bar is more important than the machine. Besides, I have plenty of power for, uh... <laughs> just throwing out holy water. My only issue is going to be actually surviving this uh, final hallway, or second to last hallway. Because this is pretty much a gauntlet of enemies, and it's meant to blow you down. At least, if you're not careful. Alright, now time for the damage rush. <laughs> I didn't slide far enough. Really? Yeah, now I'm questioning whether I have a chance. Yeah, I definitely don't have a chance now, because now I gotta do this entire thing without getting hit. And have you seen my record for that? Last I checked, my track record is, uh, O and everything. Or, uh, more appropriately, I should be saying O and my face. <laughs> uh... patience with the snakey. You've got all the time in the world. See? All set. No damage taken so far. That's gonna change when we get to this, because while I have consistently done it, let's face it, bees are unpredictable bastards. just pissed off. Uh, 
I'm not complaining, because, uh, they're absolute assholes. just reminds me. I'm gonna have to, uh... Okay, little trivia thing that I might bring up when we get to uh, those particular Sage After videos. But you know how lately I've been taking care of uh, Indie Stars and everything? Well, uh... I had two really good recordings. And because of the way I record videos or rather, how I've been recording my commentary nowadays. Well, just, there's a failure rate, okay? And it's a consistent failure rate. Because, starting out, I used to record everything using my phone and then export those to my computer, and that was an absolute pain in the ass. Especially since, like, I wanted to be able to hear the game audio, and for some games, that is absolutely necessary. What? So, after a few months, I d did some research and found a way to record- essentially record my voice without, uh, without relying on my phone like that. That method involves, uh, opening up a separate instance of OBS and saving the, uh, appropriate file elsewhere. There's a problem with that. If I don't designate the, uh, folder in which I want to save it to, then I run into an issue where I try to record something and the footage corrupts. I've had that happen multiple times and ruined perfectly good recordings for me. But this time was a little bit different. The recordings came out fine but I thought they glitched. And I didn't realize that I had effectively already prepared ahead of time. Because the thing with uh, this particular method is that I essentially need to not just have two, instant two separate instances of OBS open, but I also need to go into the settings and appropriately change it so that one of them saves in one location, the other saves in another location. And I'd done that, I'd forgotten I'd done that, and it screwed up. And uh, accidentally deleted the vocal recordings that saved when the footage recordings, which normally corrupt, didn't corrupt. I was pissed. Mind you, this all happened yesterday. I was absolutely livid. Because I had effectively done both recordings that I needed to do for Indie Stars, and accidentally junked the footage because of my own inequity and lack of attention. Which means, later today, or tomorrow, I need to go back and re-record those. Fun. Crap. I should have went the other way. I at least do consistently on this fight. Ish. I swear, this hallway... I do consistently on it.
And by consistently, I mean half of my HP is gone each and every time I get to it. <laughs> so I guess I'm saying it that the uh, hallway does its work well. I might actually be able to do this on half health, which is pretty cool. <laughs> that effectively means if I could get there with uh, three quarters of my health, I'll do even better. Okay, me. Don't screw this up. <laughs> you screwed this up. Uh. Oh, I still have a life. Good. And I have another life. This is already looking like trash. I swear, when it comes to a game... Actually, I think I might have brought this up last week when I played this, but... When it comes to games, I seem to do better the lower my HP. Not markedly, but it's slightly better. It might just be the fact that I'm actually uh, trying to be careful with my HP up. God damn! Really? Really? Oh no, I am not doing this. It will be impossible to do this. Guaranteed no money back. I will need to do some ridiculous flippy bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, if I didn't attack there, maybe I would have had you. Hello, Axe Armor. How is your sister? How is your wife? How is your son? Thinking about it, wasn't there an iteration of X Armor that was female in like uh, one of the uh, Metroidvanias or Ca one of the Castlevanias on DS? I feel like you could control an X Armor, and the X Armor was revealed when you completed the game to be female. Yes, I'm pretty sure that uh, Castlevania did that. It wasn't Order of Ecclesia, because that one had Albus. It was. Maybe Dawn of Sorrow. Dawn of Sorrow or Portrait Ruin. Gotta be one of the two. Snakey! Get in the fire! I wanna flambe ya! What? I'm taking all those point bags, cause uh, that's very important.
It's also good to know that hitting spikes is only minor damage. It's about a flesh wound. Five, six, seven. Avoid the infinitely spawning Morta for a moment. Not tactically, that means picking up a rubbish weapon. Whoopah! Whoopah! Ah. No. You know what, provided I can at least get past this area, I'll be fine. Two areas without losing a single life. Decent. Now it's just be hell. In actuality, the bees aren't that bad. The bees are the least threatening part of this. And that's saying something considering the fucking caves. I hate the caves. I won't say that enough. And three. Good. Whoop. Okay. And two sure again. And imagine if I could get through three areas without losing a single life. That would be nutty. Impossible. But that would be nutty. And I'm immediately bungling it. Whoopa! No! That's what I get for trying to do flippy bullshit. Two. Three. Stay here, me. Wait for Dulahan. Take the shuttle. <sighs> Good. Jeez, with that clench. More like take the shittle. <laughs> Got past the hard part. Wait for it. Three. Two, three, four, five, six. Just in case. Not taking any risks. Three areas. Without losing a life. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll, I'd rather fill my health bar here anyway. 